Welcome to week 18. So last week in the vlog, I was saying how, oh my gosh, my arms are already tired. I need to work out more. I was saying how I was on three days of good in a row or whatever I did. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, that was kind of the last day of a really good day. <sighs> kind of back to feeling like my a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I'm still so much better than like several weeks ago. Like can't even compare the two. So much better. But I got spoiled in those three days and I knew that it, you know, might not last forever, but I was really hopeful and now just haven't been doing so great. I haven't been able to sleep because it's been waking me up. It's my stomach because I just don't feel good. Plus, it's already starting to get uncomfortable to sleep and I know I can't complain like I know when I'm like actually really big. Ugh, switch arms. Um, it's gonna be like impossible to sleep and I know that um, but like I already like switching I just I'm a back sleeper and it's starting to get uncomfortable to sleep on my back and it like pushes on that uh, artery and like I woke up last night super dizzy and I was like oh, okay I don't think I can sleep on my back anymore which I've been trying to switch for the past like week or two but my body I don't know if it's my body I don't know if it's my doing gymnastics for 19 years body or if it's just normal but when I sleep on my sides all night like my collarbones hurt my back kills it hurts my butt cheeks go numb and my knee hurt this morning from sleeping on my side I'm like it's ridiculous so that's been keeping me up plus I don't feel that great so that's been keeping me up and so I'm just really tired and I'm trying to finish up the last little bit of school that I have um which has been hard to focus and I have no excuse not to because I literally sit at home all day long. But that's kind of the new update. It's not as great as I was hoping for. And I don't want, I'm not complaining. Like I, well, I guess I kind of am complaining. I don't want to complain. Like I am doing so much better and everything's really good. Baby's healthy. Grayson's been, feel, I've been feeling a kick a lot, but even Grayson can feel it now, which is like super cool. Um, everything is really good. I was just a little like discouraged from sliding down a little bit but I know that's not uncommon I just thought I'd let you guys know what's up because I told you I would and so this is me not sugarcoating anything and telling you that although being pregnant is amazing and truly I think the most incredible thing God ever did to humans I'm not enjoying it as much as I was hoping <laughs> oh boy it's still so cool and parts of it are amazing but other parts not so amazing but yes, that is the week 18 update. I will let you know if anything changes. Hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be like, guess what? I'm great again. Hi guys. Whew. So last time you saw me, which for you was like 30 seconds ago in the video. Um, whew, that was week 18, now I'm week 19, actually almost 20 by now. Um, and Wow, guess what I just did? <laughs> um, and I told you in the last video I was not feeling well, which was true and lasted until a couple of days ago, like Monday. Um, I'm gonna sit down. And whew, I think I realized, I was talking to Brittany actually, and she was saying, like, hey, have you noticed like it's, you know, like nausea and stuff is related to anything? And I was like, no, like, I don't know, my sleep hasn't really impacted it and stuff, which at the beginning, was true but now I think she's right um how much sleep I get really kind of dictates how I feel and so I did I wasn't sleeping well for like a week and a bit at least and so I wasn't feeling well and then I think I just got so tired that I was able to sleep through my like nausea and then I felt so much better the next day and that was Monday today is Wednesday um so Monday was good yesterday was good and so today I was like you know what I think I'm gonna try and go for like a really light jog um, for a few reasons I mean yes my body's changing but I I'm not really that's not a big deal to me because I understand that that's gonna happen um, it's more psychological for me and I think I look and feel grosser if I'm not doing any sort of physical activity and that's 
been my life that's not a pregnant thing that's just an least thing um and so i figured even if i go for something just super short just move my body i'll be i'll just feel better about myself and i been feeling bad because poor Grayson's listening to me complain about my flabby butt and gross legs which isn't even really that true it's just my stupid psychological state maybe from gymnastics for so long I don't know um but yeah so I just want to do something just to make myself feel better and it was good like I jogged so slow like super slow for like seven minutes which is great because I haven't done that other than running to catch the fireworks which was hard, and in flip-flops. Um, haven't done that in four and a half months, I guess. Um, so I did that, and it was good. Um, other parts of my body hurt more than what I was expecting, but that's fine. And um, yeah, like I felt good. I had to pee after those seven minutes, which is part of the reason why I stopped. Um, I went right before I left, and then I was like, oh great, it's been six minutes, and I have to pee already. Let's go for one more minute, and then I'll be done. So I had to pee, so that's why I came back. Um, but yeah, it just felt good to get get those seven minutes of workout in. I'm like sweating like a pig. It's also really warm out, but still. But it feels good to do something, and I think I'm probably gonna be pretty sore from that. Um, but yeah, I did something, and it felt really good. And I only felt a little bit gross right after, but then I just stood in the shade, and the breeze was nice, and then it calmed down, and it made me feel better. It's time for the real week 19 update. Before I was just rambling after my run and I thought I'd share with you that I actually went on something. So, week 19. Week 18 was a little rough. I had a few okay days and then um, started feeling a little bit better on Monday. I think one of the things that I have realized for me is like expect how important expectations are. Because through this whole time it's been so hard for me and I'm like really been trying to figure out okay like what is the lord teaching me through this like he's teaching me something but i was just almost like too angry to even care because i was just like why do i still feel sick why am i still throwing out like it just i it was really hard for me to try and focus on what i'm being taught through this whole thing um and it still is and i'm still trying to figure it out um and i know there's a plethora of stuff that he's teaching me all the time, especially right now. Um, but I think another thing is, and something that I always have struggled with, I guess, is like expectations and the kind of expectations that you set for yourself and um, how, you know, I wanted to be so badly that like fit, healthy, um, super happy, like pregnant mom all the time, eating healthy and doing small workouts and just feeling great and as you have witnessed that has not been the case which is fine and there's nothing wrong with that but it's just when you have that expectation then you know that was nothing what I experienced at all so far maybe it'll change now maybe I can start to do those things but um, I wanted to be that from the very beginning and so that was one thing that I think he's been teaching me is like okay you know you can have expectations but make sure that they're realistic and um, yeah, I don't know. So that's one thing I've been mulling over or as one of you suggested, nulling over, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, that's one thing. And then last week, it was a hard week and I broke down one night, of course, because that's what I do, I cry. And I was just talking to Grayson about actually how hard it has been and that I don't, sorry, I keep switching my arms, are tired. <laughs> Um, and about how I like wasn't letting myself acknowledge how difficult it's actually been for me and how crappy I felt and just how exhausting, which, duh, pregnancy, no kidding. Um, but just like how emotionally and physically exhausted I was from, I am from the past four months of just making this little, little foot here. Um. And I just like broke down and was like, it's just so, it's been so hard. And it's, I don't know, it's hard because for me in particular, I had had so many of my friends in my life who have had babies and it's been like the best experience and they wanna be pregnant forever. And it's just amazing. And I was just like so pumped to experience that, um, which it has been amazing, but I haven't, I do not wanna be pregnant forever. <laughs> 
and just kind of coming to terms with how difficult it's been and letting myself say that out loud and um, just acknowledging it, I think was really big. And for me, it's it's this thing where like I don't want to appear like weak or that I can't handle it. Um, and that's been really hard for me. I think part of that's like my athletic background as well. Not that it couldn't happen to someone who wasn't an athlete, but just being able to push through anything and it doesn't matter how hard it is, you can make it through. But this has been the hardest four months of my, four and a half months of my life for sure. Um, ooh, other week 19 updates. Little uh, baby boo or little foot or whatever you guys feel like calling him or her. Him. I've been saying him more recently. I don't know. My gut said it was a girl. And now, recently I've been saying him. I don't even know. 50-50 shot, right? I can't change it because my gut said girl, so I'm not going to change it. But recently, him has been coming to my mind so much more. Anyways, um, not this Friday, but next Friday, we are having the gender reveal. Ah, I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. We're just going to have a bunch of friends over. We're going to FaceTime our families in. And... Um, I think we know how we're going to do it. We were researching and yeah, we're so excited. I, I don't know what's it going to be. It's going to be a little mini Elise or a little mini Grayson. And so we're so pumped. People keep asking. You guys have been so sweet. Thank you so much for all the comments and like tips and everything that you guys have been giving. We really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, so we decided to do this separate video um, like with just baby updates, but I don't know, I feel like it's kind of boring. I mean, I'm literally just sitting in the same spot that you always see me in and just talking, which if that's what you guys want, great, I can do that. But if there's anything else you think I should do, let me know, because I don't really know. I mean, I I can't update you any other way, I don't think. I don't know, so just let me know if there's something else that you think I should do that you'd like to see. But yeah, I am feeling better. I'm not gonna get my hopes up and I'm going to, um, I'm feeling better now, but I'm not expecting now that this will carry through to the end. Although it might, but I'm not gonna think that because I did that a couple weeks ago when I was all happy and then it went again. And so, not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take each day, one at a time, and just be thankful that I feel good today. And then we'll see how I feel tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I hope this. Oh, moving around right now. How cool. But this is our um, week 19 baby update. I hope that you guys are having a great week, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Back, just take your positions. We're already rolling. And roll. Oh, <laughs> uh, snaps. You have a baby belly. You have a belly button.